What's going on guys, Danny here bringing you yet another video. Now before I start this video, I just want to mention, uh, I'm sorry for the last few videos. I was wondering why the lighting was a bit off. Now I have a light box just there, that's my hand covering it. And the batteries that were in there have been there for about five months now. So even though my my light was on the brighter setting, it was not lighting me up enough. Now this, this one here that I have, if I, like it gets really bright. I know, I put it in the lower setting. And that looks pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I apologize for the last video as being uh, not the best. But uh, this video is not about lighting. It's about something more amazing than light. The PSVR. I went to the EB Expo on the last weekend, the weekend that just happened. I got to try out three different times the PlayStation Virtual Reality headset. Previously known as a Project Morpheus, now the PlayStation VR. It comes out next week in a few days from when you're watching this video and I cannot wait guys I'm so excited I've literally been watching videos every single day just about the VR headset everything like that just getting myself hyped up for the PSVR so this video today is kind of just my experience of what I did and, and stuff like that now I did actually get to record myself playing two of the experiences one of them was at the playing Tronics booth and it was with the Resident Evil kitchen scene uh, kitchen demo from uh, Resident Evil 7 I didn't get to, to record that. It was only about for about two minutes when I basically sat there like this and I could look around and do all the, do all the VR stuff. Uh, then I did... Well, the first experience I did was actually at the PlayStation booth. And if you guys watched my last, like, more information about the PSVR video, I mentioned that if you go on a website, you can sign up. And uh, when you sign up, you can actually book an appointment uh, to test that PSVR. So I did that. Me and my friend Gab lined up. I actually got given the experience because every single like there was like uh, eight different PSVRs you could base it up to. The one that I was on was the underwater. I can't remember the exact name of it. I have it on screen if I remember. And I have some gameplay of what it looks like when you're playing it on screen right now. This was crazy. I basically was standing there. The lady was helping me set up the whole the PSVR headset. The lady was really nice. She was like, you know, make sure you just before you even go into the game, just make sure everything looks good. Let me know when it all looks good, I'll lock it in for you. So I was like, I had one hand in the front, this is just telling me to, to do it. One hand in the front of the headset, one hand in the back, and I kind of just like did this. I'll have content on screen showing you guys uh, from when I was actually there. I was getting it all, all set up, and then there's a little wheel in the back, and I believe that wheel like locks in the headset onto your head when you actually uh, figuring, like, figure out that it all looks good. So once that was done, she, uh, she had the control. I didn't have any control in my hand. And it was basically, she goes, look around, look around as much as you want. And I was just, I, I what you're watching right now, I kind of look a bit weird. I'm kind of just standing there. But in, what I could see was amazing. I was underwater, there were jellyfish, I was in a cage. And then near the end, this shark just starts roaming around and then started ripping stuff off my cage. It was amazing to be in that experience. And I literally, so at one point, the uh, shark rips off the cage at the front. It just rips the thing right off. I literally, I, I like, I carefully stepped forward because I, it, I was underwater. It, it, there was a large drop. I like looked carefully. I was like, hell nah. I stepped back. I was like, I ain't doing that. That's crazy. That experience was amazing. Uh, I was really glad I actually got to do something like that. I was a bit disappointed I didn't get to do anything with the controller because even in the uh, the Resident Evil one, I just I had the controller in my hand and in VR it looked like my hands were tied up like this. Which is pretty cool because I was holding it, I was tied up, but all I could really do was at the start of the video or at the start of the experience, you have the uh, your hands like this tied up and you knock down this, like I think it was a camera or something, you knock it down, but after that you don't do anything else with your hands. So that was that. But then on the last day that I went, on the Sunday, actually I wasn't even going to go. That was my VR experience is done. But then I was like, I have to do one more thing. They had a Drive Club VR booth, which it was at the PlayStation booth, but it was a Drive Club VR section where you lined up signed up and you could play uh, Drive Club that rhymes, I didn't want it to. Uh, Drive Club VR, sitting down, controller. I have some uh, on, on screen content for you guys as well for that, which is pretty cool. So you sit down, same thing, you know, make this, make sure the headset fits right. They lock it in for you. And then the lady just says to me, okay, I'm gonna calibrate uh, the system. So when I first started the control, like the, the steering wheel was like down here for me. But then she pressed some button and it must have registered on the PS on the PlayStation camera where my head was and the whole thing just went Doop! and it was in the exact spot of where the actual uh 
where the steering wheel was in front of me in real life, which is pretty crazy. Then I think the hardest thing about the whole experience was I didn't know where the foot pedals were because I had the VR headset on and my feet were kind of like on the side of it and I had to put them up like that onto the onto the pedals. So at the start of the race, it took me a second to kind of like figure out where my feet were. Uh, but other than that, it was an amazing experience. Drive Club VR, I actually pre-ordered Drive Club VR after playing it because I was like, heck yeah, that was really cool. Um, I know Gran Turismo, I think the sport it is, uh, is going to be in VR. I can't wait to see what that looks like because Gran Turismo games, even since the PlayStation 2, have looked amazing. I cannot wait to play it in VR. But until then, uh, Drive Club VR, which comes out on October 13th, just like the VR headset does, uh, that, that, will, that will do for me. I'm happy to play that. It was a lot bunch of fun. You sit there. I don't have a steering wheel in my house or anything, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to have to use a controller, but just sitting there, like, you know, you look over your shoulder, the mirrors and stuff actually work, because I know a lot of, like, driving driving games, the uh, mirrors and stuff, they don't actually work. So you can literally look up like that, see in your mirror, look over here, see in your, like, your left uh, side mirror in your car. It's, it's crazy. Now, there were the three experiences that I could do with the EB Expo, and uh, overall, I was, uh, I said to the lady, the first lady that I was talking to who helped me with the uh, headset at the PS, uh, PlayStation booth, she said to me, you know, how do you think, what do you think of it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, look, I already pre-ordered this thing. I'm just happy I got to try it out before I pre-ordered it. Because I know now, I'm 100% guaranteed to love this thing. It was amazing. So if you guys don't have a pre-order for day one shipment, which is October 13th, I'm pretty sure they're sold out, like, everywhere. Uh, they might, you might be able to get one, like, uh, Big W or Target, like, on the day. They might have a couple hits hanging around for some reason. I doubt it, though. If you got, like, EB Games or JB Hi-Fi, you can get for the next shipment which is between now and the end of the year. I think it's like early December, they said, uh, the next shipment's coming in, which isn't too bad. It's only about a month after the first one. A bit, a, a bit of an after month. A bit, uh, a bit more than a month uh, than the next, the next uh, shipment does come through. I would definitely, if you, if you, like, maybe you don't have the money for it. I understand that. You can actually still go onto the website. I think it's like trypsvr.com forward slash en dash au, something like that. I have a link down below if I remember. Uh, you can go on there, and there's, I think it's like Paramount Westfields and a few places like that actually have it on weekends where you can go try the PSVR. Uh, I'm guessing this weekend's one of the weekends that they're doing it. And then it moves to Melbourne or Brisbane, something like that. So go check it out. Uh, you could have a, v a PSVR location near you. I'm not too sure what the other experiences are like. I just know the experience that I went to was amazing. Uh, my underwater experience where I was in the Shark Tank thing lasts about five minutes. The... Uh, the kitchen, the Resident Evil one, lasts about two and a half minutes. So overall, I got about 10 minutes of uh, gameplay experiences with the PSVR. But the good thing is, I have mine coming October 13th. Hope you guys are subscribed. If you want, uh, hit the little button down below. You get notified every time I bring out a new video. And uh, you can turn notifications on, which so actually, like, actually notifies you, notifies you. Like, just notifies you, if that makes sense. I, I already have like a lineup of videos I'm doing for the PSVR. I got unboxing. I got set up. I got first gameplay, I got, I got stuff happening. You guys should be excited if you're not. Why the heck aren't you? Are you a PC gamer? Are you like, oh, Vive all the way? Hey, I was about to buy the HTC Vive. Then I saw the price with conversions and I was like, hey, heck nah, I got the PSVR. Yeah, I don't know guys. Uh, comment if you have a certain type of uh, PSVR video that you want me to make with a headset. You know, if you have any questions, I think I had, I had a question on one of my videos. I have to go answer it about the PSVR, I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions about it, I can answer it in a future video or just in the comments, depending on the, the question and what it is. And if you have tried PSVR for yourself, do you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Are you picking one up for yourself? Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And hopefully the lighting is as good as this, because I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. All right, peace.